All right, hello, and welcome to this very first playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda. We're on a mission to beat 100 games every year, and this is game number 31. And we're going to start this video the way we start every initial video of a game I play. And I'm going to very briefly tell you what I already know about this game. So I've got my How Long to Beat page pulled up here, and I can see that Mass Effect Andromeda is 18 and a hour, 18 and a half hours long if we hurry, that's main story only. And it was released on March 21st, 2017. Um, 18 and a half hours long is significantly shorter than Mass Effect 2 and 3, but it is slightly longer than Mass Effect 1. So somewhere in the middle. Uh, the completionist run is like 90 hours or something ridiculous. So uh, it looks like none of the completionist runs in the older Mass Effect games are even half, are, uh, they're only about half that long. So there must be a lot of side content in this game that is does not exist in the other games. Which makes sense. Newer game, more, I don't know if it's more open world or what, but if they added more stuff to it, that doesn't surprise me. And I am, I have played, I'm playing this series in order, and this is the last one, or the most, so right now, it's the last one. Um, so I played all three. I uh, I thought Mass Effect 1 was okay. Uh, it was good. I thought Mass Effect 2 was one of the best games I've ever played. And I thought Mass Effect 3 was very, 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 very excellent, but not quite as good as Mass Effect 2. That is where I stand on the original trilogy. I have also heard that this game is not nearly as good as any of those. Uh, so I am prepared for a less entertaining time. I don't really know why people believe that, except that I know there are a lot of uh, issues with bugs, glitches in, when the game first released. Hopefully a lot of that, if not all of it, has been patched by now. And that there was some, I feel like I remember reading there were some issues with the Frost engine that EA required Bioware to use or something like that. So uh, so I'm aware that people don't like this game very often, that it's kind of the black sheep of the group. People don't like it. But I imagine there are some people out there that do like it. I have not ever played this game. I've never watched anyone play this game. I've never read any reviews, actually, for this game, although I've heard through the grapevine that people don't like it. I don't haven't heard if it's easier or harder. I've never even watched a trailer. I've uh, If I know I want to play a game, I don't watch the trailer. Uh, actually, in this particular case, I wasn't interested in Mass Effect when this game first came out, so I don't think I would have watched the trailers anyway. In any case, I have no idea where the story goes from here. I am aware that Andromeda is another galaxy, so I don't know if it takes place there or what that's all about. Um, but <clears throat> the way that Mass Effect 3 ended was pretty final, so... A different galaxy kind of makes sense, but that's all guesswork. I have no idea. Um, I, I don't know anything about characters, bosses, uh, anything like that. We are going in fresh. And I'm very excited to do so. We're playing on the Xbox Series S. Uh, we are going to keep track of deaths in the um, uh, above me here. And we're going to try really hard not to get that oh, frostbite. That's what it's called. That's the engine. We're going to try really hard not to get that first one. You never know, one of these days I'm going to get that no-death run. Uh, after we get the first one, we'll relax a little bit. We're going to try hard not to die the first time. Okay, title screen. Press A to start. I hope, I don't know, but I hope that this game has a mission structure like Mass Effect 2 and 3 did. I would imagine it did does, um, because that helps me to divide up the videos. Adjust HGR brightness until the two squares match. What two, what two squares? Oh, are you saying that those are there's a line in between those things? Uh, yeah, bro, I can't. Oh, yes, I do see a very slight line. Yes, I do. Uh, barely. There's the line. So like right there. Okay, cool. Stereo. No, we're gonna change that to. Um, okay, stereo. I guess. Safe zone adjustment. What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah. No, we're good. I thought it was like VR safe zone. Okay, that's good. 
Oh, of course. I accept everything. I accept everything. Quick start, Sarah Ryder. Quick start, start Scott Ryder. Okay, so it is a. Wait, 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 wait. I did not click anything. What is this shit? No. Back. Online feature. Ah, uh, good. I don't want any online features. Status offline is excellent. That is what I want. Thank you. Customize character. Yeah, I want to customize my character. Before we do, I want to look at settings and make sure we've got subtitles and if there's a performance mode. There probably is not a performance mode. This is not a, a new game. But I do want subtitles. Um, also, if there's a... Uh, wait, what? Did I... I didn't, no, I don't want to apply. Uh, if there is a speaker, a uh, controller speaker, is that even on Xbox? Do they even... Maybe they don't. Good. One less thing to think about. Graphics! Okay, just making sure. Um, customized character, I guess, is the way to say new game. We had a male shepherd in the first trilogy, so we're going to go female this time. You are currently offline and will not be able to... Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Good. Good to all of that. Uh, okay, female. Customize appearance. Should I go with the default appearance? She looks a little dopey, doesn't she? Uh... Yeah, we're, I'm going to try not to spend a lot of time on the character creator, but I just went with male Shepard, the way he looks in the original. Should I just do that with this one, but go female? Maybe we should. Customize twin? Um, cancel. Choose the appearance of your father. Customize history. Okay, so wait a minute. Customize appearance. We're going to go with the default appearance. So that opens up all this other stuff. Uh, female. We're going to go with the default female appearance. Choose training. Choose a special training rider received in the Milky Way before joining the Andromeda in the Milky Way. So this is an Andromeda galaxy thing. Before joining the Andromeda initiative, this training determines the pow what power you'll have from the start and what skills you'll gain early access to. Choose training. Security. Weapons and tactics. Probably will do that. No. No. Leader. Energy drain. Scrapper. Develop specialized technology to boast bolster survivability of your entire squad. Uh I don't hate that energy drain. 
Launch yourself like a combat at opponents and regain a portion of your shields on impact. I don't hate that. Um, no, we don't want that. We're going to go with security. I like having access to more weapons. That's a we'll carry more weapons into battle. That's the kind of thing I'm interested in. So we're going to select that. Uh, name, we're going to go with Sarah Ryder. Uh, customized twin. Default appearance is fine. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, inherent Alec Ryder appearance. Inherit. Al okay, Alec Ryder appearance. Yeah, that's fine. With this option on, Alec Ryder's appearance will be based on your customized Ryder. Well, then it doesn't matter. Customize history. Choose the gender of the legendary commander Shepard. Oh. Um, yeah, we had a male Shepard, so we're going to go with the male the male shepherd. Check this option to upload your character to the Mass Effect Archives website. You can re-import it in the future or share with friends. No, thank you. No. And unless there's an option to up to import settings from the trilogy, I'm good. It doesn't sound like that's a thing. So let's confirm and start game. Difficulty tended for players with experience playing shooters, baseline Mace Effect combat experience. Let's go normal. If we ever want to change it, we can, but we usually do normal. In a game like this, I don't see wanting to change it. This game isn't exactly known for its like awesome boss fights, you know. Although that could change, I suppose. It is possible that that could be different. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. <clears throat> so we're going to find out what happened between Each the trilogy and now. Forward was achieved by those or is this a prequel? To do anything nah. To attain it. nah, not if there was another shepherd already. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream. So that's a Mass Effect relay. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it isn't. In the year 2185, humanity lives in a golden era of interstellar travel. Our discovery of ancient alien ruins on Mars propelled our understanding of science and technology ahead by thousands of years. While many now enjoy the newfound freedom and challenges of exploration in the Milky Way, others look for, to even more distant stars. With 100,000 adventurers embarking on this 100,000 on this one-way voyage, the future begins in... Andromeda. Yeah. Yes. Title card. I love me a good title card. A well-placed title card. <clears throat> 634 years later? Wow. I mean, I guess if you're going to another galaxy. Yeah. Arc Hyperion. Occupancy 20,000 human colonists. 634? Is that what it's? 600 and something. So the year is like 27 or 2800 or something. 
How interesting. Andromeda Galaxy, Destination Habitat 7, in Helios Cluster. How do we know anything about the galaxy? Habitat 7? There's seven habitats? Bro, if you're in cryogenic sleep for 600 years, you are going to be a little bit crispy. What was that, the game or a movie I watched recently where even more than... Oh, it was Tacoma, where even a couple of days in cryo would kill you. Deep breaths. You're going to want to take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Sarah, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder Mission Team. Pathfinder Team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean? Summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? Sarah Ryder. I, I will say, man, right out the gate... Oh, here we go. So they've already researched them somehow Sounds from a like distance. It. Let's get you checked out. I will say the graphics look a little dopey. An unusually high ratio of potential candidates <clears throat> for Golden Worlds, the Helios cluster was selected as our destination. Uh, okay. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Tone choices help define writer's personality. Emojical, emotional, logical, casual, professional. Emotional, logical, casual, professional. Um. It's what we train for. Be Even more if professional. it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something? Word came down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Oh no. Trouble already. <laughs> okay, everything checks out. Yeah, this game for 2017 does, doesn't look Let's great. Sam, my salmon? My salmon? Oh, my Sam, Sam implant. Are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? Uh, my implant? I just need a second to get my bearings. Oh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still alive. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. <clears throat> Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I'm excited. I'm ready to get to it. Readings confirmed. I detect an increased level of adrenaline in your system. The neural implant is functioning properly. Can't explore space without my coffee. Perfect. You're all done. Let's get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. What the fuck is that? Oh no. Oh god. Okay, everything's already going wrong. What's happening? It broke free. Just hang on. Engineering, report. Try to brace yourself. Gravity cryobase is offline. I'm almost inside. Hold on. That one lady was really going. <clears throat> I'm at the cryo bay. Brace for a reset. <sighs> Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's we hit a fucking Christmas tree. Like centuries since we spoke. This is Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. Oh, my brother. Hmm. <clears throat> 
What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well? Sarah. Is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. Can't lose him. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door <clears throat> whenever you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, cryo pod inspect. Still in stasis. Idols look good. Okay. All right. A data pad. Message from Captain Dunn. Attention Hyperion personnel. After a 600 year voyage, the good news is we're exactly where we're supposed to be. We have arrived in the Helios Cluster, Andromeda Galaxy, year 2819. All stasis medical personnel should report for duty immediately. Give the give, immediately give the Pathfinder mission team revival priority and preference members for field reconnaissance. Reports of an unusual celestial phenomenon in the cluster are being investigated. Updates to follow. You never told us what the bad news was. <clears throat> well, enjoy your nap, Ryder. I don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe okay, another decade or two wouldn't have Flavor hurt. text. Like what? Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Or I don't know. Alright. <clears throat> I'm ready. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. What's wrong? <clears throat> Investigate the malfunction. Hey, up here! Whatever hit the huh? fried everything. We have to balance the power load or it could explode. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ryder could find it. She has a scanner. Quick, Ryder, use it to locate the fault. On what? It. I'll try to Guys, I just woke up. Hey, I'll try to get on this one. I'll override the safeties. Got it. A to scan the highlighted object. Face coil. It has to From be here. Component is functioning within specified parameters. There's no indication of a fault in this component. Relay 2C shows damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay! Ryder, can you go reset it? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess so. There! It's reset! Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. Objective information is listed in the mission tracker at the top right corner of your screen. Prologue Hyperion. Okay, cool. We've got a mission log. That's good. <clears throat> That's good for my separating my videos out. I won't be reading all the lore like this for very long, but at the very beginning, a little bit. Automated logs report run 2819. Departure procedures, trajectories. Uh, sensor fault. Okay. We could replace the whole assembly. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Damage control team just repulsed. On the double. Okay. Off to the bridge. Wonder how long it'll be before I'm actually off of this ship and on a planet. Might be a while. <clears throat> Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What am I looking at? What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Is that what's his name? Sam. We need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. It's, uh, it's what's his Alan, name? please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. 
if it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And is that what that is? Guess what we hit. Oh, okay. You don't know. I always forget that guy's name. I always want to say Powers Booth, and that is not it. That's another dude. Alec, I need to assess the damage. It's, uh... Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this God ship. Let's give them a nice chance name? to wake up. Can you blame her? I prefer solid ground. Your father's got a point, <clears throat> though. Solid ground oh, sounding pretty good right now. Yeah. That's your father right there? Isn't good enough. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. Is it dead? It looks dead. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. Maybe it was 600 years ago. Maybe something happened to it. It doesn't even look the same. It looks bad. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon. Maybe they had people on it and they had a global warming issue. I gotta look that guy's name up. Twenty thousand souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. I'm just gonna look up Shawshank. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, Clancy fucking we're already bomb. home. How did I not remember? All right, that? just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. I knew he had a last name for a first name. A stubborn one, isn't he? <clears throat> he takes after me. Stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need he knows an what he's doing, I'm sure. Repairs. We're blind. I wouldn't put him here. in that position if he wasn't qualified. Yeah, that planet looks fucked, guys. If they said that there were a bunch of planets in this cluster, can we just find another one? I mean, we can travel faster than light, probably, right? So. My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline <clears throat> junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. What are you Don't looking worry. at? I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. What are you so, looking at? Let's get out there and find him one. Right. <clears throat> You'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the As a member of Pathfinder team, you play a critical role in Andromeda's initiative efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges. Golden World Site ver verification, reconnaissance and mapping of unknown territories. Planetary and celestial scientific analysis and discovery of new phenomena, potential first contact with extraterrestrials, establishing diplomatic relations with local inhabitants, general support of settlement outposts. Yeah, how do we know this planet isn't already taken? The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. The good luck rock. Looks like dad's already suited up. Hang in there, Scott. Oh, I turned the radio off. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. There. Get your helmet. Alright. The Pathfinder is now requiring side arms. I've opened the armaments locker. Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please, arm. First contact protocol. In the event any member of the Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated, and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. <clears throat> Hell yeah, I'm going to arm myself. I don't know what's on there. Even if the people are cool, they're probably bears on their planet too. Just a just a handgun, huh? All right. Uh. 
Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I Yeah, everybody kind of looks like a plastic action figure. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. You and me both. It's what we hope it is. It'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. I didn't like your tone just now. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. You better. You better. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. You know him. Never was an early riser. Just don't let it get to you. I need you sharp. Yes, sir. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. As far as like what I'm choosing, dialogue choices, I'm not necessarily going for always okay, one thing or another. I'm just going for I whatever feels like the right the answer at the time. Team, not just because you're talented <clears throat> and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, <clears throat> and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming. That this is my team. Few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So let's go make history. Been waiting six hundred years for this. Uh, not really, though. Is this still the prologue? Copy that. We're on point. Wow. Do you look at that? Whatever it is, it stopped the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. Dark energy? If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomalies detected. Can't move. I guess we can just look around. We're clear. Accelerating to cruising speed. Ryder, we didn't have a chance to meet back in the Milky Way. Name's Liam Costa, security and response specialist. Hi, Liam. Good to meet you, Liam. Not to believe we're finally doing this. Sure beats reading the brochures. We're getting our deceleration. Planet's dead ahead. Okay, so it's not going to be that long before we go to the planet. Good. Makes sense. But the pilot's panicking. Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We have this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. Look, port side. That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Oh shit. Oh no! Liam, you're dead! Oh, no, he's dead, right? Oh, yeah, bye. Oh, I'm dead, too! Oh, come on. No kidding! Your jump jet is malfunctioning. Get it working! 
Approaching terminal velocity. Sam! Jump jet. Yeah, you better fucking. Oh. oh shit. Are we gonna die at the very beginning of this game too? Oh nice. Love that. That's clever. Jesus. Well, hey, there's plants. There's plant life. Yeah, this place is not, uh, not looking good. Come in. Uh, Hyperion! Sam! Anyone there? Take your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't, too. Any survivors? Did the others make it? <clears throat> I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. How are we gonna yeah. get back? No way this is home. Oh, they can probably send something for us. Looks like we gotta find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on. Right Planet side. Okay, so this is a different mission now. Oh, did I get an achievement for beating that? Land on an alien planet. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's the end of the prologue, apparently. Um, interesting start. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you.